So once we've got rid of all that green, um, it gives us a really good starting point for our post processing. The next step is to look at the liquify tool. Liquify is it should be your best friend. It should be the the tool that you go to time and time again because it just has so many different capabilities really and it can transform your entire image. It helps you create a more realistic illusion of of your avatar. So let's have a look at that now. Before we go into Liquify Day, we need to apply this layer mask. And what I usually do before applying it, make sure that you click in the far left hand box here in the layer. Hold control, click the left mouse button in a layer mask window which will select what's not transparent right click select inverse and then control x to cut those green pixels and then you can left click in the layer mask thumbnail right click apply layer mask that will um, enable us to start liquify really you won't be able to liquify while that layer mask is still active so let's go into liquify which is in the filter menu so the main things we want to be looking at with liquify are any lines on the avatar that are too angled or too straight so areas like the knees the wrists the elbows sometimes the hair I mean what you'll find is with some clients you'll you'll need to, I mean I'm sure you know what it's like, you'll need to reshape their entire bodies a lot of the time especially legs, a lot of clients, a lot of avatars in general just just don't seem to be able to get a nice curve to their legs so we'll be showing, we'll be exploring how to do that zoom in to the area that you want to work on, I suggest tackling each bit at the same time for this image there's not really much that we need to do I want to just smooth out the line of the leg a bit on the far hand side but really I think that might be it maybe a little bit of the hair here but let's start with legs to see how we go with liquify the main thing you have to remember is less is always more you can you know really get out of control very quickly with liquify so I suggest using a nice big brush which will give a more smooth and um, less sort of um, harsh result you can see the settings that I'm using here on the right hand side but again you need to play with these to make them work for you and then you're just going to gradually push and pull different parts in and out so you get the lines that you want to get what I also usually do is I start off with a brush like this nice and big and then if there's any details that I want to get more precise I go in with a smaller brush afterwards you're just looking for any lines that don't look realistic any sharp angles especially as I say on things like knees let's go to the other leg little frequent clicks with liquify I find to be the best method and 
guys, I'm, you know, I wouldn't ever suggest that I am somehow an expert in using these tools because I'm really not. A lot of the time, I'm not even particularly proficient. Um, I'm sort of totally self-taught. I've received no professional training, so take everything I say with a pinch of salt, please. But if it works for you, then that's all that matters, really, I guess. I'm nudging these toes in as well because I don't like how long they are. As with everything, make sure you zoom in and zoom out to see how it's looking. It wasn't bad to begin with. Um, I don't think there's much more we need to do in terms of liquefying. I'll just do this hand a bit. Um, hand? Hair? That's your hair, Libby. <laughs> I'm going to use a smaller brush for this bit. And this one I'm making. I just want to make this crown of my hair a bit more realistic so it's not so flat. Maybe go up a bit in the brush size. And push that up so my head isn't so square looking. Let's have a look at that. I think that'll do, to be honest. Just gonna have a quick look on this side, see if there's anything. You can be really as detailed as you want in terms of. how much you liquefy due to just the general um, sort of the sheer number of pictures that I'm doing on a weekly basis they tend not to be overly precise with it unless it's a picture for a friend or I mean, obviously, make sure that everything is as it should be. Then, when you're happy, and I think I am with that, click OK. And that is liquefy stage done. See you in part three.